Good afternoon, class of 2024. This is Mrs. Hums, your school counselor, and the following presentation will help explain all the information you need to know about your high school application process. I know it's only September, but there are a lot of options and decisions out there. Deadlines are quickly approaching. If you have any questions or need help with any of your application, please stop by the guidance office. Let's talk about the open house information. Colts Neck High School does offer a tour typically around January. In February, all of the counselors from Colts Neck High School will visit Cedar Drive Middle School, where you will have the opportunity to spend time with your high school counselor and review your schedule and your electives if you choose to attend Colts Neck High School. Monmouth County Vocational Schools and the Magnet programs within the Freehold Regional High School District all offer open houses. In addition, private schools such as CBA and RBC offer open houses, which we recommend you attend if you're interested in any of those schools. Freehold Regional High School District offers 14 Magnet programs. Within the six surrounding high schools, each high school has one to two magnet programs. For example, if you're interested in applying and attending the Navy Junior ROTC program, you would be attending Colts Neck High School. If you are interested in the Global Studies or the Animal and Botanical Sciences program, you would be attending Freehold Township High School. A magnet program is a four-year program that allows you to pursue a passion in a particular field of study and career interests. It includes an in-depth study of targeted courses, and they will prepare you to directly enter a workforce or attend a two or four-year college. You may apply up to two of these programs. For more detailed information about these 14 magnet programs, please click on the link below, FRHSD welcome video. The magnet program has open houses. It is not mandatory that you attend any of these open houses if you are interested in applying, but it is highly, highly recommended. It is there where you will find all information about the specific school. Please note that each program on the left-hand side has a specific date, a specific time, and please take note as to where the open house is located. Again, these are not mandatory, but it is highly, highly suggested and recommended that you attend so you learn as much as there is about the school. Freehold Regional High School District also offers an international baccalaureate program. This IB diploma program is a two-year course of study that would occur in your junior and senior year. If you are interested in this program, you would attend Freehold Township High School for all four years, and then your junior and senior year, you would be learning under a holistic approach with a focus on developing intercultural awareness. Within this program, you will explore and understand the world around you through inquiry, critical thinking, and open-mindedness. If you are interested in the IB program, you do not have to apply. However, there is a significant commitment that is necessary and a letter of intent, just solidifying your intention to enter the program in your junior year. Please note that if you choose to attend the IB program, you must complete Algebra 2 prior to the start of your junior year. For more information on this program, please click the link video at the bottom. If you are interested, the IB program does have its own open house, which is Wednesday, October 25th from 6 to 7 at Freehold Township High School. Please attend this open house if you are interested in learning more about the IB Learner Profile and if this could be the right fit for you. Monmouth County Vocational School District also offers six vocational schools, Academy of Allied Health and Science, Communications High School, Biotech High School, MAST, High Technology High School, and a new vocational school is the Academy of Law and Public Safety. 
If you are interested in any of these highly specialized small career academies, you may apply to one program. Please click the link at the bottom, MCVSD welcome video for more detailed information. The Vocational School District offers open houses for each of their programs. Unlike the magnet programs, these are mandatory. You must attend an open house. Each school offers two to four information sessions. You must attend an open house in order to apply to one of these programs. Monmouth County Vocational School District also offers shared time programs for students attending Colts Neck High School. This is an opportunity to enroll in a career and technical education course while you are taking your classes at Colts Neck High School. Most of these programs are two years of study where you will learn a skill that will qualify you for an entry level job or prepare you for further education in that chosen career and technical education field. Some of those programs are career, the Career Center, Commercial Arts, Marine Trade, Plumbing and Pipe Fitting, Allied Health, there's so many to choose from. If you are interested in any of these programs, you would want to contact your school counselor at Colts Neck High School once you start your, your high school journey. Some other open houses that surround the Colts Neck School District are CBA, RBC, Trinity High School, St. John Vianney, and the Ranny School. If you are interested in any of these schools, please click the name of the high school and that will take you directly to the high school registration page. So now let's talk about the actual application and acceptance procedures. What you want to redo, do is review each application and acceptance procedure with each school because every school has different procedures. You may apply to any of the two magnet programs within the Freehold Regional High School District. You can also apply to one of the Monmouth County Vocational Schools. In addition to those schools, you are automatically registered to Colts Neck High School as that is our sending, that's our sending school. You can also apply to any of the local private schools. For the magnet programs, the online application opens Tuesday, September 26th. The deadline for your application is Wednesday, November 28th, 2023, no later than 11.59 p.m. If your school requires an entrance exam, that entrance exam will take place on Saturday, December 2nd. The snow date will be Saturday, December 19th, and the entrance exam will take place at Colts Neck High School. Should you require the need for the makeup exam session, you must call over to the Freehold Regional High School District and make an appointment. This 90-minute entrance exam test will, is a test of skills and abilities, not subject-specific like the NJSLA or the SATs. Around February 2023 is when the status notification comes out. If you are a student who is interested in any of the fine and performing arts programs, you will attend an audition at Howell High School on January 4th and 8th, 2023. If you are interested in attending any of these schools, you may apply to two majors within FPAC, as well as one other program. So remember what I said before about how you can apply up to two magnet schools. FPAC is one. Even though there are two majors within, it still counts as one. If you are interested applying to the Navy Junior ROTC program, you will be required to attend an interview at Colts Neck High School. Please note the dates in orange, January 4th, 9th, 11th, 16th, 17th, and the 18th. If you require any sort of accommodations due to an IEP or 504 plan, and you are required to take an entrance exam, 
please let me know so we can ensure that you receive the extended time and accommodations that you may need as per your IEP or 504, and we will make sure that the Office of Curriculum and Instruction have that information. Again, for more information, please click on the link below. Freehold Regional Magnet Schools has an admission formula. Each school accepts students with different criteria. For example, if you are applying to the Animal and Botanical Sciences School, 50% of your, of your acceptance comes from your grades. They take a look at your language arts and math seventh final grade, and then the eighth grade first marking period. They also take 50% on an essay. However, fine and performing arts acting, for example, 20% of your entrance is based on your grades, 80% is based on your audition. Medical sciences program, 40% of your admission is based on grades, 50% is based on an entrance exam, and 10% is based on an essay. Please note that the only schools that require an audition are the Fine and Performing Arts. Interviews are required for Fine and Performing Arts Music and Video Production and Navy Junior ROTC. It's also important to note that grades are not weighted based on levels. So your seventh grade final math grade, whether you took grade seven math or advanced pre-algebra, or algebra, whatever your final seventh grade number is, is what the high school looks at for admissions. They do not weigh that grade based on the level. They do the same exact thing for your first marking period of eighth grade. Monmouth County Vocational School District has a little bit of a different application process. You must attend the open house accompanied by a parent or guardian in order to apply to any of these programs. You must be present for the entire information session. At that information session, you will receive a direct link to be able to start the application process. You may register for one information session per school. You can attend all six uh, information sessions if you choose to, but you are only eligible to attend one per school. The deadline to apply to any of the six vocational schools is December 1st, 2023. Your entrance exam will take place on January 22nd, 2024. A photo ID is required. They ask that you bring your school photo. If you do not know where your school photo ID is, please let me know in the guidance office and we will print you one. The vocational schools send out their acceptance notifications around the first week of March of 2024. The selection process is different for the vocational schools as it is the magnet programs. Remember the magnet programs, I showed you that big grid that had all of the different scores and, and areas that of interest. The selection process for the vocational schools is based off a hundred point scale, scale. For your seventh grade final grade, you can receive a total of 15 points. Eighth grade, first marking period, you could receive a total of 15 points. So that's 30 points just on your seventh grade final report card and your first marking period of eighth grade. The other part of admissions comes from the exam. You can receive up to 35 points for the math section of the exam, and you can also receive up to 35 points on the writing language arts. With a total possible score of 100, you need a minimum score of 75. The Monmouth County Vocational School does not require essays, interviews, letters of recommendation, anything like that. It is strictly based off of grades and the admissions exam. The scale used to determine the GPA, remember I was saying how they take it out of a max of 15 points? Well, you can see the GPA scale broken down right here for you. 
let's say you ended your seventh grade math with a 97. 94 to 97 equals 14 points. So that's kind of how they, they determine your GPA, which they use for the application process. If you need help figuring out the numbers with your seventh grade report card and the first marking period of eighth grade, just send me an email or stop by the guidance office and I'm happy to break it down with you. So let's go through and make sure that we have everything checked off and that we understand some new information that came out. Extracurricular activities are no longer an application component for any program within the Freehold Regional High School District. In addition, the magnet programs within the Freehold Regional High School District used to require teacher recommendation letters. That is no longer a requirement for any of the magnet programs. Freehold Regional High School District will continue to not use grades from social studies and science during the application and acceptance process. This was a change that was made from COVID and it is still true today. Again, the magnet programs look at your seventh grade final grade, including only literacy and math. Eighth grade looks at your first marking period for literacy and math. If you are interested in the business administration program, Algebra 1 is no longer required by the end of eighth grade in order to apply for this program. If you are offered a seat on two wait lists for the magnet programs, you may choose to accept a seat on both wait lists. It used to be that you would have to choose one over the other, but now the magnet programs allow you to accept the wait list for both schools that you have applied to. Computer science, med sci, and science and engineering, you still must complete algebra one or higher by September of your freshman year. It used to be that if you graduated middle school without that component, you wouldn't be able to apply. However, Freehold Regional High School District now offers a tuition-based course over the summer that will allow you to have the credit for Algebra 1, as long as you have a passing grade. So for more information about that summer academy for Algebra, you can click on the link, frhsd.com, for more information. Just some logistics. If you attend a vocational school, you will play a sport at Colts Neck High School. So if you attend MAST or Biotech, you will go there for the day, do your learning, but then if you choose to do band or volleyball or football, you will go back to Colts Neck High School for those extracurricular activities and sports. If you attend a magnet program within the Freehold Regional High School District, so let's say that you attend one of the FPAC programs at Howell High School, you will not be a part of Colts Neck High School. Howell High School will be your home base where you will play sports, where you will go to dances, where you will graduate from. So best of luck to our graduates and our class of 2024. If you have any questions, we are here for you every step of the way. This is a really, really exciting time. I know overwhelming, I just shared a lot of information, but play it back, take a look at each slide, and please don't hesitate to reach out if you need any support. Good luck, everyone.